Dear Grade 12 students, welcome to today's English lesson. This is Reading 2A, Part 1. There are three objectives to consider today. The first one, recognize the genre of four texts. The second one, identify the purpose of four texts. And finally, discuss the importance of the pursuit of knowledge. This is exercise A, question one. Before you read the passage, I want you to take some time, read the question and answer. Please pause the video now. Well, the question is asking you about the things you've always wanted to learn about, but you haven't had the chance, you haven't had the opportunity to do so yet. For me, there are a lot of things that I've always wanted to learn about. Some of these things include cooking well, writing well, and speaking a foreign language. Now I want you to tell me about the things you want to learn. As I have told you earlier, I have always wanted to learn how to cook. Now, I want you to help me. Give me some pieces of advice to help me improve my cooking. What can I do? Excellent! I can watch YouTube videos. I can watch cooking shows. I can also try out recipes. And recipes are, yes, recipes are instructions to be followed to prepare a certain dish. One more thing I can do is experiment with new techniques of cooking. And finally, I can experiment with new ingredients. And ingredients are the components that make up a certain dish. The second thing I want to learn about is how to write well. Can you help me with that? What should I do to learn how to write? Great ideas. So one thing I can do is read widely. So if I read a lot, it will help me improve my writing. One more thing to do is criticize the things I'm reading. So I'm to express my opinion about what I'm reading. One more thing to do is to study the techniques of outstanding writers. So if I study their techniques, their ways, this will surely improve my writing. And finally, after studying those techniques, I can apply them in my writing. So, if I do all of these things, I will become a better writer. The last thing I want to learn about is speaking a foreign language. So, what should I do? Can you help me? Well, I can always take lessons in that language. I can also watch YouTube videos. And watching movies will help me learn that language. Great ideas. Now, it's time to open our books on page 22. This is exercise B, question 1. As you see, we have four different types of texts. And you're supposed to match these to the suitable texts A to D. Please pause the video now and answer. Well, 
Which text is an article? Can you tell me? Excellent. Text B is an article. And an article is a non-fiction piece of writing. And by non-fiction, I mean it's about real things. Like the news or describing real places, describing real people, real events. Articles are also used for writing academic research and results. Moving on, which text is a formal letter? Do you know? Wonderful! Text D is a formal letter. We use formal language to write formal letters. Formal letters are usually written for official purposes. So maybe at work, we're to write formal letters. If you're addressing somebody in the government, for example, we don't write formal letters to friends or to family members. Moving on to see which text is a blog post? Well done! Text A is a blog post. And a blog is a website in which bloggers write their diaries or journals. And we have many different types of blogs. Moving on to D. A flyer and text C is a flyer and the flyer is a small piece of paper with information about a product or an event they are aimed at expected buyers those who would pay to the product or the service or the event Now I want you to take some time, read the question and answer, pause the video now. So the question is asking you about the thing that is common in the four texts and what is it? Any ideas? Great job! All the texts are about study and education. So, where can we find that in text A? In the first two lines? Well done! We have applying for college. So, college has to do with education. Text B. We have ideal setting, ideal place for education. So, again, education study. Just finished college or university, education. And finally, study abroad program. Again, it has to do with education. So, all the texts, although they have different purposes, they are still about education. We are still working on exercise B, page 22. This is question 2. We have four statements and they stand for the purposes of the four texts. Now I want you to match these statements to the texts A to D. Please pause the video now. Before we answer, do you remember what the word the purpose means? Excellent! It means the main aim or the reason for writing. So, 
which text aims at giving information about a certain study program any ideas excellent this is text D and text D is an email and the purpose of this email is giving information providing information about a certain study program moving on to B which text aims at sharing personal experience about study choices well done this is text A and text A is a blog post and it is written in first person I I so the writer of this blog is sharing his own experience well done moving on to see get people to apply for a certain course for a specific course and this is text super this is text C and text C is a flyer and the flyer aims at getting expected customers or expected buyers to know about their product and finally we have inform people about an approach to learning a way of learning and this is text B the article great job Now, I want you to go through text A and answer the following questions. Please pause the video now. Well, as you remember, text A is a blog post and is written by Elliot Engber. He wants to study interior design. It is difficult to join Bay College because applicants need to prove that they have what it takes. They need to prove that they have the qualities to make them successful. Elliot felt intimidated because Elliot felt nervous because he thought that the other students are better than him at drawing. And to be as good as they are he needs to work hard he needs to stay focused he needs to improve his drawing skills and this is why he described joining the college not to be a child's play now I want you to go through text B and answer the following questions Please pause the video now. Well, some of the perfect places for education are any ideas? Excellent. Woods, forests, and fields. Educators strongly believe that what do educators believe they believe that experimental learning in nature is one of the most important is a primary means of instruction students in forest schools do some activities what are they they follow wild animal tracks and they pick up survival skills like building shelters and searching for plants to eat and finally studies have shown that hands-on methods make students yes they make students assess risks in a better way and they motivate students 
to show initiative and by that we mean they take actions to solve problems. Now I want you to go through text C and answer these questions. Please pause the video now. Well, who is the target reader? Who is the target audience? Who is the text aimed at? All are three different ways for the same question. So, the target reader is students who have just finished college and people who are interested in learning to fly. The purpose of the flyer is to convince, to persuade students to join the aviation school. And the flyer was designed to persuade students by using persuasive techniques. The persuasive techniques used are engaging questions like, have you just finished college or university? Have you always dreamt of being able to fly a plane? Another technique is using positive language, encouraging language, such as excel in everything you do, dream of being able to fly, fully prepare to, PPL, and these are all encouraging statements to persuade students to join the aviation school. Now I want you to go through text D and answer the following questions. Please pause the video now. Well, can you tell me who the recipient of the letter is? Excellent. The recipient is Mr. Phillips. He is the one who is receiving the letter. And the letter is sent by a study abroad coordinator at Blue Ridge School. And his email is a reply to something or an email that was sent by Mr. Phillips. So Mr. Phillips asked for information. And what we have in text D is a reply by the coordinator. How do we know that? Because we have thank you for expressing interest in Blue Ridge School. The subject students study overseas are same usual subjects as those students study at home. Some of the subjects participants have studied before astronomy, storytelling, and identifying poisonous mushrooms. Well done! We already know that the four texts have something in common, which is the fact that they are about education, learning, and knowledge acquisition. And these texts are related to the title, of the module, which is Thirst for Knowledge. And this title suggests that people should always be learning. I want you to take some time and read this saying for Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and tell me what does it emphasize. So, seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. And it means knowledge and learning is very important. It also means that knowledge is infinite. So, there is no limit for learning. One more thing. Learning starts at birth, cradle, ends with death, grave. So, 
whatever your age is, there is no excuse to stop learning. And finally, learning makes us humble, not proud, because no matter how much you know, there is always more to learn. So, this should keep you humble all the time. After this lesson, you should know how to recognize the type of text and identify the purpose of text. This is the end of today's English lesson. Thanks for watching and remember, this video will always be available on Microsoft Teams for you to watch at any time.